Had Rey Mysterio working without a contract. Yeah, so there's a lot to that, but the short version of the story is that, um, yeah, his contract expired. I thought since he'd been on TV that, um, you know, that he may have signed, but in fact, he has not signed. And, um, I mean, what, what happened was he had asked for a raise. Vince had said, you know, look at the situation we're in. Um, you know, we're, we're not, you know, we just got rid of a bunch of people and, you know, so anyway, he's, he has not signed and they have booked or they are trying to book a match for extreme rules with Ray against Seth Rollins singles match where the stipulation is, is the only way to win the match is take out the other person's eye, blind them for life. That is the way you win the match, which to me it's is ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. I mean, it's like, I mean, w I, I can only presume the mentality is, is well, we're going to blind you and not use you or <laughs> because your contracts, I don't know what it is. I don't know, you know, um, but I mean, the whole idea of trying to sell that is just so stupid, but you know, this is a very vindictive business. And, and at the same time, it's like, you know, they, you know, Ray's been there. They don't want him leaving. I can tell you that, um, you know, they got the Dominic storyline, obviously that they've been working on. That's one of the reasons that they're still doing all this. So, you know, they're, they're, I guess to say they're working on a deal. Um, and he, you know, he, it'll be he very can, interesting he, if they use him on TV in the middle of all this, cause that's a very not, Vince they've been McMahon. using him, they've been using him on TV for months. This didn't just happen this week. This it is, didn't this happen is, this week, but now it's out. Now it's out. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's been, I think his contract when it was expired months ago and they worked under the. You know, basically, okay, you know, I'll work out this program and, um, you know, I mean, when the, the original eye program, when they, when they took his eye out originally, I remember I had said that, like, if they don't reach a deal, that's his being written, that's his being written off. But since they brought him back, that's when, you know, and the whole thing of like, my eye may be done, you know, that whole thing of, and then, and it was just completely forgotten. I guess they thought he was going to sign, um, and then he didn't sign. So, oh, he was in critical condition, and his eye could get infected. That was a storyline. Right, right. And that was a way to explain him being gone if he left. So if he didn't sign a new deal. So that was kind of the out. And now now we're at this situation. So, you know, I guess um, we'll watch it plays out. I don't think they're, taking, they're going to make Seth blind in an, for life. Uh, I don't think that that's their plan. That would be a pretty stupid plan, I guess, unless... They it's a pretty a stupid plan to make Ray blind for life if you think he's ever going to come back. It's completely stupid. Like I said, it's just vindictive. But the whole thing is, is like with Seth, what they're going to say, like he magically regains his sight, like like Kane's burns went away. Um, I mean, they could, but it's like, why, why even do something so preposterous? But in the case of Ray, it's the same thing. Like, why? I mean, I heard that stip and it's like, what kind of, you know, it's like the stip is insulting. It's stupid. And at the same time, it's like, you know, you keep forgetting that, you know, what if you want to make a deal later? You know, it's like they're, it's, it's like that whole thing when, when, um, I mean, this is completely different, but it's sort of the same because it's the same mentality. When Austin left that, you know, when everything and they had JR go out there and bury him. And I was just like, you guys, you know, he's coming back in here. Oh no, he will never wrestle here again. He's done. And it's like, you guys, I mean, come on. You, you have no get it that, Eventually, things are, you know, eventually you're going to want him back. Oh, no, he walked out. He's never coming back. That's it. You know, we will never see him again. And it's like, come on, guys. You know, it's like, do you really, like, have no foresight in this at all? And and this is, like, another example of it. It's like, oh, if he's not going to sign, we're just going to do this. And he's, what is Ray? Ray's, um, Ray's 45 years old. So in their mind, you know how Vince is when you're over 40. But it's like, you know. Ray doesn't work 45 years old. Ray's work is great. It's going to be great as long as he doesn't injure himself. He's wearing a mask. I know. Exactly. And he's great. That's the thing. The guy is great. He's a fantastic... Even even if he loses a step, he's he's a legend 
and he's a fantastic worker and everybody loves to work with him because he understands what he's doing and you know they're not there's they're, you know no matter what they're never going to find another one like him so and you know i guess he could you know look he could go like l legally legally all right legally he could show up on on impact television uh at their pay-per-view he could show up on aew he could show up on aew um not this one's like already tape but the, on the 15th legally which is a really weird position to vince to for vince to put him in i don't think he will do that uh because you know i think in his own mind he's gonna you know that would be that would sort of be i don't know like is, is that unprofessional i think some people would go well you know it, it's it's you know unprofessional to walk out like it but you know what your contract's up yeah if they so want to kinda... stick around and not go to aw they should have signed him to a new deal they should have made him an offer right well, now he's offer. right they now he's him. being professional by working for them without a contract if he decides he's going to get a better offer tomorrow then no that's not unprofessional to go to aew so he could go a week from wednesday what are they going to uh, do just say well we're not going to give you we're not going to we're not going to sign you to a new contract, but we're going to. This Dominic angle is going to go through WrestleMania 45. So, like, don't go anywhere because we got this really long term storyline. I mean, come on. Well, part of uh, uh, part of the reason I think that um, WWE is going to push for him to sign is Dominic, and it's actually a pretty. I mean, it's a solid reason, but then it's not because the reality is is that um, wherever Ray goes. Um, Dominic will certainly get a shot. Now, you know, with Dominic, I mean, the, 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 there's 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 an issue of like you know Dominic as Ray's son. It's like in the end, he's he's either going to make it or he's not, and there's no guarantees. And you know, going from a guy who's never really worked anywhere, although I know he's trained for a while, but he's never really worked anywhere. And I mean, and he has looked good in every physical angle he's done. There hasn't been a glitch yet. So that's that's a good sign, but a guy who's never really worked a match, and then going on to national TV, and it doesn't matter what company, whether it's we're talking about, whether it's New Japan or whatever, um, you know, that's a big step. I mean, you know, it, it, with Ray, you know, I mean, I think you know Ray Ray's going to make money wherever he goes uh, for his next contract. He you know he will, but I think that one of his goals is to get Dominic set up and i tell you what i mean there's a part of me if i'm sitting there going like who do i if, if i'm gonna have somebody train dominic who's it gonna be and you know what there's a guy and this is and i'm sure it's not his first choice of promotion but he could go there and he'd be a star there but my first choice as far as who goes to train dominic there's no choice it's shibata I mean, you look at the guys he's trained and how much they've improved, and they're such, the thing with them, all of them is, is they're such solid workers that they can go anywhere, as opposed to, I mean, I look at what, you know, um, WWE has turned out as far as guys from scratch, and it's very hit and miss, and AEW doesn't have a program in place right now. I know they want to do something, and eventually they will, but they don't have one in place right now, so... um but, you know, you know, with with WWE, you know, but you know, the one thing like like that the advantage WWE has is that Ray knows that ten years from now there will be a WWE. There probably will be a New Japan Pro Wrestling in ten years. I'm pretty confident in saying that. And in AEW, I mean, they're probably and I and I'm on you know, most likely there will be an AEW at least you know. I mean, who's ten years from now? Who who the hell knows? It's, but but WWE, there's more, it's more of a solid shot. But I mean, even AEW, unless something goes bad, but God knows something can go bad. Something already has gone bad. But generally speaking, you know, you've got to say AEW's locked, I mean, contractually for TV for a couple more years. And they're on the verge. I mean, not even on the verge, but I mean, like the business model that they have is one that will make it unless something goes bad. So it's not like it's well. I'm sure that they'll try to tell him. It's like, you know, you, uh, you know, you bring your son there. There's no guarantee they're going to make it. And then, you know, I mean, that's the implication. I'm sure that 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 gives them an edge. But it'll play out. I mean, I would I would say, 
the favorite would still be him staying just like when this whole thing when his contract was expiring and i was telling people the favorite is still him staying but the fact that he is not signed and that he's you know he's got a number that he wants and they got a number that they want and the reality is is that they have not met his number and he's not agreeing to their number um he, that would tell me that he's amenable to somebody else's number if somebody else is going to match the number or match the circumstances. Because, um, you know, the one thing is, is you never, you know, you never know with Vince. I mean, I if, if it was me and I was in Ray's shoes, um, as far as his own career and his own push, I'm not now, now we're not talking Dominic, I would be more confident of a better push in AEW than I would in, in WWE and being a top guy and not being forgotten as well. Um, now money wise, um, I would suspect that he would make the same money there uh, cause he's Ray Mysterio. I suspect that he would get a great, great offer there. I don't know, but if I'm, I mean, there's a few people I would say that about like for sure. I mean, there's some, I mean, there's obviously certain people that, that, that Tony Khan would, would match the money. They have to be special people. He's one of those. I think, I don't know that no one's from there has told me anything as far as that goes. But you know, when they did all in Ray Mysterio was in the main event of all in. So that tells you that those guys, not necessarily Tony, but you know, Cody and the young bucks, that tells you the respect level they have and, and what they want. And, you know, Ray would fit in. And, you know, again, he's got an incredible amount of opponents that he can really shine with in a way that, you know, set, even with Seth, that he really can't. You know, I mean, if you're talking about guys like Ray Phoenix or the Young Bucks or, or stuff like that, he can do much better with those guys than he's going to do in, in WWE rings, if that's what he wants. I mean, there's a lot of questions, and, you know, he's the only one who knows the answers, but... That's that's the situation with them.